All right, so for those of you like me that don't have an actual Mac, uh, I installed a uh, virtual machine using VirtualBox and I installed Mac on there using uh, this guide here from TextViewer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video obviously of how to do that, how I did it following these steps. So first, go to virtualbox.org, download VirtualBox and install it. Then while that's installing and downloading, uh, go to the link for the um, copy of the virtual disk for Mojave. Download that to your desktop and it should look like something like this, like a .rar. Then right click it and extract it to your desktop. Um, and it should come out like this with that v .vmdk, um, which I think it stands for virtual machine disk. Um, then once you have that done, go to um, VirtualBox. I already have the operating system, but I'm going to create another one just so I can show you guys how to do it. And create new. I'm going to name it Mac. I suggest you do the same. OS Mojave, just to keep the tutorial simple. I have 16 gigs of RAM. Oh, another thing on the specs. I have 16 gigs of RAM, a terabyte hard drive, and I have an i7-8400K. Um, I also have an NVIDIA graphics card, the 1080 Ti. Now, I'm sure not everybody has, you know, these kind of, like, specs. So, um, if you may want to Google to see what the minimum specs for Mojave may be and see if your uh, computer can handle it, whether it's a laptop or a desktop. I did have a couple of different laptops that, um, older versions, different versions of Mac OS that I did get to run. Um, but, again, let's just go with maybe maybe it doesn't work you can just try it and see um so anyways here memory i have 16 gigs and i want to give it just me personally i want to give it six gigs of ram because if i'm compiling and doing things inside uh, unity or anything like that uh, i need a little bit of computing power so it's a thousand twenty four per gig times six is going to be six thousand one hundred and forty four so i'm going to enter six thousand one hundred and forty four for hard disk, you're gonna choose the virtual disk because it's the one we downloaded. It's gonna show me uh, here or another one because it's already done for me, but we're gonna add the one we downloaded in our desktop. So it's desktop, Mojave, and here's the extractor one, open it. It's gonna freeze for a sec while it like reads and loads the file. And choose, create, and then let's go to settings. Don't, don't start it yet. Go to settings, advanced. I'm just gonna check, make sure everything here. Yep, this is fine. Um, for system, uncheck floppy. Um, base memory, it's the 6144. CPU, I have a 12 core processor, so I'm gonna give it, uh, let's give it four cores. Let's give it four, I'm gonna give it four cores, but if you have like eight or six, just go with like two. I, I would give it at least two, it needs at least two. Um, leave this check, display bring up the video um, memory all the way up leave these guys alone I have two monitors but I'm only gonna leave one we'll display recording don't need any of this storage um, you're gonna enable host here host uh, on off cache audio it's good good enable network adapter serial port USB I have USB 3 so I'm gonna enable USB 3 um, so it could support it. Share folder. So this is a folder that's going to appear on your Mac and your whatever you set it up on your host computer, your Windows, so you can put files in there and easily be able to go back and forth between it so you don't have to like put it in a zip drive or put it in the cloud or something like that. So I have one on my desktop already named Mojave. Where is it? Shared and it's just empty. It's right here. There's nothing inside. It's just for this tutorial. It's gonna freeze for a sec most of the time. Um, I'm gonna auto mount it. I'm gonna leave the mount point alone because it has a default value that it does. So I'll leave that. And uh, let's see, input keyboard, mouse integration, ingress. Okay. So now I'm gonna hit OK. Now I'm not gonna start it. Now I'm gonna have this attached. Again, I'm following the guide on uh, the website. So. The name of my virtual machine is Mac OS Mojave. So as you see here, it's saying your name VM or your VM name, virtual machine name. I'm gonna replace. So I'm gonna replace your 
DM name with what the name of my um, system is, which is this Mac OS Mojave. Cancel, minimize, and all these over here to the left should change. Let's see, replace all. Okay. Now we're gonna type in here command, not hit anything yet. We have to open as that run as admin, so we're gonna then here run as administrator. Yes. Then it wants you to CD into Oracle um, slash VirtualBox, so that's where VirtualBox is installed. So before you do that, just verify that it did install there. It's a default spot, but you just want to double check. See what did it say? Program files, Oracle and VirtualBox. Yes, yeah, so that is the location. So you can always click here and it'll tell you the location. So now let's cd c colon backslash program space files backslash Oracle. Make sure it's case sensitive, so make sure you have the um, capitalization correct. Virtual what can I spell? Box. No errors. Good. Then we're going to copy and paste these one at a time. So copy, control C, control V, and it does it by itself. Next, I'm going to take this. Now I'm not quite sure what these are for, but I followed the guide, and I did what it asked, and it worked perfect. So I'm just going to do this all over again and get you guys running with uh, Mac OS. I had to hit enter for that one. But all right, and now we should be able to open up our virtual machine and start it. So this is the one I created. I'm gonna hit start. Now one thing that happened to me on this one, when I uh, installed that one, I'm not sure if it happened to you. Uh, hold on, let me bring this back. Let's throw it to my second screen so you can see what's going on. Was that in the app store, I couldn't download anything because I couldn't sign in. I would sign in with my iCloud username and password and it will just go back to the sign in like I've never signed in. So what I did is I went to the uh, little Apple logo on the top left and checked for updates which I'll show you later and I updated the um, version I guess it was an iTunes or App Store update that I had and then I was able to log in and successfully be able to download apps and stuff and whatnot inside the virtual machine. But I'm going to pause it until this opens up. Um, they're going to show errors and warnings. That's fine. Just make sure you get to the screen that we're going to get to in a sec. So I'm going to pause until I get to the screen where it asks me to select the language and whatnot. Also, on the top, you'll notice there's a message where it talks about capture. So for me, when I enabled capture, it means it captured my mouse and keyboard inside the virtual machine. I was stuck inside the virtual machine. I had to force um, shut down my desktop the host because I couldn't get out of it could just be me I couldn't figure out how to get out so I just left it where it's just like virtual like seamless integration where I can just like you see here you don't see my mouse because it's inside the virtual machine but if I pull it out of the virtual machine to the right you'll see my mouse that worked out a lot, whole lot better and I wasn't stuck so for now I'm gonna pause and I'll be back when I'm on that setup screen all right so here's the welcome let me click the little X there and my mouse wheel oh there it is it wasn't working before. Now it's working on this copy, go figure. So we're gonna go down to your country. I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna choose United States. Continue. US keyboard. Might be a little laggy, so just be patient. Um, continue. Don't transfer any information. Um, let's see. I'm gonna log in with my iCloud. It's a little slow, but again, it's a virtual machine, so it's an um, operating system within the operating system, so you got to give it some time, be a little patient. Um, 
depending on your internet speed, depending on your hardware, it may or may not run faster or slower. So I'm going to pause while it uh, loads out. Never mind. No pausing. All right, so this is on my iPhone. Allow. Here's my code. If you don't have an iCloud, I believe um, that first meant like when you were able to type it in the bottom, if you click like I don't have one or something like that, it'd give an option to bypass it and do it later. Um, I have an iCloud and I have an iPhone and an iPad just in case. So um, if you don't have an iCloud or an iPhone or anything like that, again, I suggest um, just go back to the other menu and I believe you should be able to skip that part. So give it a sec while it verifies and then we'll come back. You may get this error, that's fine. Just click continue. Agree. Agree. So I'm going to put in my name, uh, password, whatever you want. Wink, wink. I don't know, it's whatever. You can click here to change like your default photo. So, you know, you can select whatever you want here. It could be math, cookie. Or whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Continue. Wink, wink. I'm gonna pause while it creates the account to save time. All right. Now this is the next step. Thing that pops up. Continue. You can choose the light or dark. I'm gonna go with the light. Continue. Now it's gonna set up. So give it a few minutes for it to set up and then we'll be back. All right, so this is what I got to next. Now read these instructions carefully. It says press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of your keyboard. So on the left side of your keyboard is the shift. So to the right should be my Z because I'm on a Windows keyboard. Then the other shift that's on the right side of the keyboard, it's the forward slash. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna leave the ANSI. And let's see what it brings up next. Now you notice like the view is like kind of off. Um, I believe it's the adjust window. There we go. Click on adjust window and it should be able to now minimize. Yeah, so now I can stretch this bad boy out. But I still want to be able to get. Let's see, is it scaled mode? Okay, here we go. So now it's scaled mode. So you have to choose scaled mode. All right. So let's see if I maximize it. I shouldn't have any of the screen yet. So it's a little overstretched because of my screen, but it's all good. I can see everything I need to see. Now, the first thing I would suggest for you to do is because I had, again, that issue in the App Store would be to go to, I think it's System Preferences. Um, software Update. And there should be an update for the App Store, I believe. That's the reason we get the error. wait for it to check for the updates yep here it is so go ahead and do this update download and restart and then oh, restarting your computer restart I can force it and my virtual machine is going to restart and I'll pause and come back when it's back on I unpause it really quick um, it you may get stuck on a black screen for a while just be patient because sometimes it takes long time for it to restart for some reason after an update so just be patient and just let it do its thing it will come back up eventually all right if it doesn't if force closes or something like that then obviously there's something wrong but it should take a few minutes to do its thing and it should pop back up to your desktop to sign in all right so I actually paused my video for a minute I had to um, export the video I was recording because I accidentally hit stop which is my escape character uh, button on my keyboard. So I had to export it and whatnot. So anyways, it took a few minutes. Again, just be patient, it might freeze, just let it be. And then it should come back to your login screen. And once you do that, you have now successfully installed um, Mac OS Mojave on a virtual machine. And you should be able to use it, no problems at all. So it's gonna check for software updates, there shouldn't be any. And again, this little annoying message so there you go 
You have uh, Mojave installing a virtual machine, 100% working. Oh, let me show you the specs. So this is the six gigs of RAM and it's just showing you uh, like a genuine version of Mac OS. And that's it. Thanks for watching.